Today, we will have our first session of First Step to Injection Molding 4.0, organized by MPMA, supported by HRDF, involving four participating companies, LH+, Marsing, Tri+, and Plus Home. And Industry 4.0 is about how can we do this customization in a relatively automated way. When we started this in May 2015, uh, MPMA together with GMI, we are a bit early, so we were not early. We were the leaders. When we look back 10 years on, back to this day, back to this group of people in this auditorium, I believe this will be seen as a historic milestone in the drive towards Industry 4.0 in Malaysia. Industry 4.0, I made it very clear to my team. It's not the flavour of the month. We are not here to impress people. We make sure that whatever we do is because we think that this will help us move to the next level of competency, make us a better company, and more importantly, we upgrade our people. reduce all the travelling, wastage. So the assignment that's being done is actually in the practically to be performed in the factory. Those people are uh, doing the during the new tooling development, new mold development. So they do a lot of test runs. Uh, previously they will just do a try and error based on previous uh, track record of experience. But nowadays have the input on the these uh, injection scientific injection moldings uh, so they can imp implement for example they have the problem with the gas mark so they they know they, they have streamed down to certain element to tackle rather than you know just uh, have a 10 element to take one by one, one so this is reduced reduced in the in the troubleshooting time dramatically a lot of things that uh, previously my colleagues and all the engineers that are doing in more manually way or I could say more traditional way so after I joined joining for the scientific moldings for the courses and I found it actually it able to speed up us the, for the progress and the effectiveness so we able to do things in more effective way and more productively so when the human errors continuous towards at the end to the data analysis, we might really analyze the wrongly data and it's really a waste of time. So if this scientific way and more smart, small smart manufacturing way, I can say using the smart panels, we actually able to capture the real-time data, not only real-time but also accurate. The industry will face this challenge. Uh, many of the uh, first generation people that started in the plastic industry are not technocrats. Huh? I think up to a certain level, the thing stagnated a bit. So they left it to the technicians that they employ. And on a scale of 1 to 10, I always use this illustration. We were training people at levels maybe of 2 and 3 and even up to 4. We are competing with the Germans, the, the Japanese, the, the, the Europeans, you know, uh, even uh, uh, China, Vietnam, Thailand and so on. So we have to be up to a level on a scale of 1 to 10, maybe 6, 7 and 8. So this is where I think the, the bosses of the companies have to see this and realise that, hey, just doing it by try and error on the shop floor is not going to cut it. So that they now realise that they've learned quite a lot, but they also realise now <laughs> that there's a lot that they don't know. Huh? The pilot project uh, moving forward is going to be very good for us. Now. When they've learned all the theory, they come and apply it. I think uh, we, we want to be in the forefront, uh, you know, in the cutting edge uh, of the industry. People will feel good. And this way, I hope that the Industry 4.0 will bring in even more customers and make it so good that people flock to us and not the other way around. And with the Industry 4.0, we hope to be even more efficient when we talk about yield, we talk about efficiency, we talk about overall equipment efficiency. Industry 4.0 is the way forward.
Industry 4.0 is the way forward. Industry 4.0 is the way forward. Industry 4.0 is the way forward.